So James, you're the producer on Death Rider. Tell us a little bit about the process. So this was my second time working with Glenn, and uh, I think the process was a lot of fun. I think, uh, you know, GD and I started to really hit a groove together on this one because we had learned each other's language of, of, of working together. And I think, uh, you know, we, it, it was a very uh, open collaboration in, in discussing how to get things done the way Glenn wanted and, and envisioned. And I think it was, uh, it, was, it was a really interesting process. It was fun to see him work. And, you know, we were, we were out in the middle of the desert in the cold many, many nights, and we didn't kill each other. So I think that's, that's, that's a good thing. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the casting process and trying to make Glenn's vision come to life. So, I, you know, the, the fun thing about the casting process is, you know, Glenn doesn't really follow uh, casting in the same way uh, a lot of other filmmakers will. Glenn just basically wants to put who he likes from other movies in his movies. And so like, you know, we would just talk about movies in general and just say like, oh, what about this movie? Oh, this, this movie was awesome. And then we'd be like, oh, maybe we should get that guy from this other movie. And so we were just talking about like awesome movies we liked. And then we would just, you know, have conversations about film and then just be like, oh, well, let's try and get this guy. That'd be great. And uh, I, it was really fun because, uh, you know, being, being that Glenn has that cachet, uh, you know, we could actually had access to just reach out to the people we wanted to, um, which, which is really cool. Tell us about Julian Sands' character and how you guys got Julian Sands to do this movie. Um, so we reached out to Julian Sands' reps and, uh, and, and it was just a resounding, like Julian was a fan of Glenn's and, and he just wanted to do it just right when we reached out. So it, uh, it, it wasn't, uh, incredibly difficult to convince Julian to do it. Uh, he liked the, the script and wanted to do it, and uh, and uh, I think you know he he wanted to have a phone call with Glenn and, and talk about it, and they they hit it off really quickly on the phone, and and they were just it was it was just immediate. They were just ready to make the movie together. Um, so I you know I thought that was really exciting. I've, I I like Julian in in a lot of movies, Boxing Helena, and uh, you know it's it, it was really cool to uh, to work with him. Same question for Devin Sawa. How did he end up becoming Death Rider? So Devin Sawa is uh, is at uh, the agency that I'm at, and I, I reached out to uh, to Devin and, and Devin's reps, and uh, and Devin was a huge Misfits fan and, and thought it was a really cool idea uh, to to be involved in the movie and. And just he was uh, he was excited by it. He read the script, and again also had a conversation with with Glenn, and 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 they 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 wanted to do it. So it it was very exciting. So tell us now about the overall film and your production of it. Like, how was your role in making this come? To life. Uh, my role was to, you know, basically help Glenn assist him with, you know, whatever he needed, making sure it was there, and and we've been working on it together since 2019. So uh, <laughs> it's uh, we're in 2021 now. So we've we've been it's quite a while, and uh, you know we've we've seen it from beginning to to now. So it's a lot of a lot of work together on this movie. Thank you, James. Thank you. Good interview, James. <laughs>